Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here at the beautiful Folkways at Gwynedd. And I have Executive Chef Ryan Pomroy here. And yeah, Nicole. Thanks for being with us. And I've also got the CEO, Mike Peasley. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us here. And it looks like we've got some of my favorite ingredients on the table today. Making dessert. Yeah. You guessed it. You got it right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what we're going to make. Okay, so we're going to uh, we're going to make an olive oil cake. Nice. Uh, it's substituting olive oil instead of butter in the cake batter. Uh, a little healthier version of mm -hmm. it. And we all know the benefits of olive oil in our diet. Um, so we're going to do that, and we're going to roast some of the red pears in the hearth oven we have behind us here. Which is beautiful. Um, we're going to roast them with a little brown sugar and um, some honey and a uh, pinch of salt. And then we're gonna also make a roasted plum flatbread. Interesting. Um, and we're also, today we're gonna spin our own ice cream here. And it's gonna be a ginger orange ice cream. Wow, I can't wait. So why don't you get started and I'm gonna talk to Mike a little bit. Hi yeah. Mike. Hi. So tell us a little bit about Folkways. Folkways of Gwinnett is a continuing care retirement community. Mm -hmm. And we offer all kinds of services to our residents. Anywhere from the healthcare services, which here at Folkways are award-winning, on to uh, housekeeping, maintenance, and of course, what's most important every day is dining services. Although the facilities are special and wonderful, the really special thing about Folkways is its people. The residents make Folkways what it is, and of course the staff. As you know from talking to Ryan, it's a wonderful staff who are dedicated to those residents. So tell us a little bit about what goes on here specifically with the residents? Well, the residents have a lot of different committees as a part of their residents association. Mm -hmm. There's a, a hundred or more committees and uh, interest groups, and they really run all the activities of the organization. Uh, anything to do with the residents in the auditorium, all the, all the programs are really run by residents. Okay. They decide what they want to do, and they organize it. We just support that. And mm -hmm. of course, in the meantime, we're running all the services that provide okay. care and, and service to our residents. And about how many residents? About 400 or so. It's a great yeah. number. Yeah, it is. A, it's Small a enough to be like a niche community. Perfect. And yeah. it's a very active community. Here, I noticed outside we've oh. got bocce courts and croquet and all kinds of activities. Every day you walk in here in the, in the morning and there's things going on. People are out walking the trails or they're walking their dogs. I sometimes come in and I see people with little roll-ups under their arm. They're going to yoga class. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so it's and wonderful. you offer that right here on the premise. Yes, we do. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sneak over here and see what Ryan's got going on with this cake. But thank you so much Great. for talking to I'll us. I'll come back and sample later on. Oh, please do. <laughs> all right, so I hear the mixer going. That's right. So we incorporate our, all our ingredients, mm -hmm. um, our eggs, our flour, our olive oil, mm -hmm. our baking powder, and our salt. Sugar? Of course. Not sugar. a cake without sugar, right? Correct. It's almost there. We'll put it in the pan. Now, well, aside from dessert, do we have anything else on the menu here? Yeah, at Folkways we have a, actually, we just uh, put a dessert bar in Ooh. our main dining room, along with um, our case here that we feature different desserts every night. Sounds um, fun. And they're seasonal in mind with with local ingredients, uh, it's it's definitely the the love of the resident. And I probably, if I get more feedback on any piece of food in our establishment, it's the desserts. It's the desserts. Yeah. Oh. And about how many diners do you have here a night? Um, there's probably about maybe 125 dine here mm -hmm. uh, just for dinner. Okay. And then uh, at, for lunch, we're probably about 200, and for breakfast, maybe about 65. All right, and how many different dining rooms are there throughout the facilities here? We have five dining rooms and three wow. full kitchens. Wow. Um, it's, there's a lot of moving parts to, <laughs> to getting the meals out here. So we got our batter. Okay. Um, Pretty right. simple stuff there. Yeah. And would you recommend using a, a full flavored olive oil with this or something a little lighter? Uh, it depends. Um, you know, we used a little bit heavier of uh, olive oil in An this because I wanted, I wanted to really see if you could taste the olive oil okay. and with the sweetness. It's kind of a kind of a neat combination. Yeah. So let me see. We have a I've had olive oil gelato before, never in a cake. So this will be a first for me. <laughs> but I love the flavor of it, so I bet it's going to be really good. Yep. And what are we going to serve on top of this? Uh, we're going to roast some pears. Back here in this oven. Yep. Beautiful. And um, we're going to top that with a uh, honey marscapone. Mm. Get a little creaminess texture there. Just take that. 
So I assume you make some pizzas back in here too, but you can do a lot more than just that. We do. We use this station. Uh, it's very versatile. Yeah. We don't believe in just using it just for pizzas. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's a common common thing that they use them for. But um, definitely, we will at lunchtime. I'll put this in the oven. Okay. Okay. And. Um, Sometimes we'll do a deconstructed soup station down here. Oh, cool. Um, we'll do some sizzle plates. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do open face uh, sandwiches and do a carberry here at nighttime. Do you and everything. roast meats and other vegetables? And we do. Here as we well? do. We'll, uh, with the meal period, we'll use this as our cooking focus. We'll roast asparagus in there for Very a lot nice. of stuff. So it's really versatile. I mean, it's not just for pizzas, even though it does do a great job on that. And it's wood burning? It is. Wonderful. It gives great flavor. Stay tuned for more from Folkways at Gwynedd. We're back with more of the Chef's Kitchen from Folkways at Gwynedd. So now we're going to get to these pears. Yeah, we'll take a couple of these pears and slice them down. Definitely coming into season now with the winter months ahead. Yeah, these are juicy too. Does it matter what type of pear you use? No, I have these red pears in house, so mm -hmm. I thought it would be a uh, nice little touch. Plus, they're very full. Now, like. I know a lot of the residents here like to do gardening, and you guys have some gardens out on the premises as well. Do you do fruit trees? Do you have pears growing here? Or? I haven't seen any. Okay. Um, there, not I, yet. Would, I would not be surprised on some, <laughs> of the, some of the residents, how they like to uh, grow their own vegetables mm -hmm. here on campus, that somebody doesn't have a, fruit, a mini fruit tree on their patio. Right. Awesome. So we're going to get take one of these sizzle plates. And I know you have a very impressive herb garden here, too. I saw that earlier. Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, having fresh herbs almost all year round is can a... You see we've even got a few of them yep. here out on display. Yep. We, uh, we, it's, it's just really, it's nice to have fresh herbs and, uh, you know, the cooks are out there picking their herbs for their dish and kind of the residents love seeing that, too, because they, they know they have some really fresh ingredients. Absolutely. There. And one thing I heard about... Uh, folkways that I thought was really cool is the greenhouse. So this stuff can be grown even in the winter time. We do. We have a greenhouse. A lot of the plants that um, are around um, the community, they they'll house in there through the through the winter months. And some residents will even bring some stuff, some of their plants from the uh, nice. from their just patios as well. So we're just going to take this real simple. Just a right little there. bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Well, we are talking desserts, right? Absolutely. So. Okay, so we have the pears in, the cake is in the oven. We're gonna take these plums, next part. And we need to make our plum chutney or Ooh. roasted plums to go on top of this flatbread. So is this like a dessert flatbread? Or it is, is this meant to be an appetizer? It is. Um, they're kind of becoming flatbread desserts are being a little bit trendy right now. Yep. Um, it's just a little different way to utilize some of your pizza product too. Um, we make our own dough here, so. Excellent. It, uh, it, definitely is something when you take the time to make it we don't want it to go to waste so and do you find that a lot of the residents here have um, you know an affinity for nice cuisine and good food oh yeah a lot of our residents here are world traveled they um, they really you know talk to me on a constant basis of what's out there trending sure. and, um, we're getting newer residents in and I meet with them and they're really excited about how we purchase our food and, Great. and bring the stuff to the uh, to the table I know you do do a lot of farm to table here, a lot of sustainable seafood, a lot of sustainable produce. Yep, that's, um, you know, it's a big focus of mine about what, what we purchase here for the residents. What is, what is it really doing to the environment? Absolutely. Um, and so that's a big movement right now. And you can imagine, you know, the amount of food that we purchase here, um, waste is another thing that we really look at too. Mm -hmm. So just like I was mentioning those pizza doughs, yeah, we're gonna make flatbreads or something to go maybe toast them off a little olive oil and garlic to put on the mm -hmm. salad bar. Well, you are a green facility here as well. Yep, so we are, uh, you know, and we actually have our own, um, along with that, we have our own composting going Fantastic. on. Fantastic, yeah. I love to hear that. Are you yeah. LEED certified here? No, we are. No, okay. Uh, we probably compost, we can't compost all of our, our waste, but uh, mm -hmm. we we probably compost maybe 25 or 30 percent of our. That's super impressive. It's a though. good start. It really you know, is. We've been doing it for a few years now, and, and we're just going to try to keep uh, getting a little bit more each year. So again, you know, no shy on the butter. Don't be shy. I wouldn't. <laughs> a little brown sugar. And now you guys also serve wine and beer here, correct? Correct. Um, and we change those seasonal mm -hmm. with the menu, and uh, they really. 
you know, uh, we try to keep, you know, the price points of the, the wine, you know, fairly reasonable. We're not serving any opus here or anything <laughs> like that. But, um, okay, so the, we have those roasting in there. Wonderful. We're going to get our pizza dough that's back here. And you make this pizza dough here. Yes, we do. And it's the same dough that you would use just to make a regular old pizza. You're going to do the same thing for the dessert. Exactly. No extra sugar in there. Nope. Um, what I'm going to probably do with it is when it comes out, I'll rub a little butter on it. And you like butter here. A little here. brown sugar. I mean, <laughs> it's great. And you do a pizza night here a couple nights a week? We do. Well, at lunch, we serve it three times a week. Mm -hmm. um, the other days, we use the heart station, like I was saying before, um, in other aspects, whether it be a dessert, um, whether it be a deconstructed soup station, a salad station. Um, they're very popular. I do this program called Crisp, and uh, it's a big salad station. And we set up all the ingredients. They kind of build their own salad. Very door. nice. Now, when you say deconstructed soup, what do you mean by that? Well, instead of you having a whole um, soup in a pot ready to go, right. uh, we have all the ingredients blanched off. We have a hot broth, and ah. um, we put them in a cup, and if it needs to be finished in the hearth, we'll finish it off in the hearth. And uh, it goes over good because some people don't like onions, some people exactly. want parsley in there. Yep. That That's a really great concept. Yeah. You see that with salads. We see make your own pizza and yeah. customize your sandwich. But that's the first time I've ever heard of that being done with soup. Yeah. Really cool. It's, it's fun. Um, let's see how these guys are doing back here. So you don't want to roast these too much? Yeah. So they break down or? Yeah, I get a little color on them. Okay. Uh, how hot does this oven get? Uh, it's at 560 right now. It's pretty hot. Hotter than an oven. Stay tuned for more from Folkways at Gwynedd. We're back with more from Folkways at Gwynedd. I'm actually going to go start the ice cream that we made. Ice cream? And I have the mix right here. What do you have in here? Um, we did a ginger, fresh ginger, and grated um, and orange zest. Orange zest. zest. So I think that's gonna we're going to put that on top of the plum flatbread. Really nice. Yes. And um, I think it's going to be it's going to be great. So I'm going to go take this and we'll. Make the ice cream. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so dough's nice and stretched out. I think our fruit is probably ready to come out of the oven. Ooh, it's looking good. Oh uh, yeah, look at those, nice and tender now. Yeah. I'm gonna leave those right back there. Look at these guys. Mm-mm-mm. So what I'm gonna do here Butter and sugar got all nice and caramelized. Just gonna roll these on here. Ooh, it smells so good. Something about the smell of roasted fruit and that caramelized sugar is amazing. And the butter. Yeah, well, of course, the butter. <laughs> <laughs> butter makes it better. Absolutely. All right, so get those on there, and we'll put this right back in our hearth oven. How long is this going to take to cook? Not long, well, right? About three minutes. Yeah, super fast. That oven's so hot. There we go. And in we go. Great. Now, how's the ice cream coming? That takes a, a pretty quick to make also. It is. We should go check on it. Okay. What do you put in your ice cream base? Um, we had, today we put uh, one cup of heavy cream to three cups of half and half, mm -hmm. a cup and a half of sugar, pinch of salt and the zest of a uh, on the whole orange and mm -hmm. about you know a nugget of ginger about that big. So no egg in this ice cream? Um, there are eight egg yolks. Oh so you do put oh, egg sorry. yolks in. Oh, I did miss okay. that one See? ingredient. <laughs> All right awesome. All right. Let's check it out. Okay the ice cream's ready. Wonderful. And so is our flatbread. Let's oh get, man that looks great. Let's get that out of there nice and crispy. Just caramelize the, top, the a little. top a little bit. Love it. Great technique. Yeah. It's always hotter at the top of the, the oven right there. Look at that. Ooh, baby, that looks so good. Nice and bubbly. I love dessert and I love pizza. So this is like two worlds colliding. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> OK, let's get the cake. I think it's ready. Oh, it oven. smells great. Oh, yeah. You can really smell the olive oil. And we're going to invert it onto a plate. Oh, look at that. Nice job. Okay. 
and we're going to slice it. Nice little wedge of this right here. It's like a really nice light cake. Oh yeah. Not really dense. It is. Mm. Right. And then this is going to go with these peaches. Oh yeah. Mm. That. See, it's nice oh, and moist. Oh yeah, really moist. Okay, do we have a plate? Sure. Okay. How's that one? Oh, it looks beautiful. Mm. Okay. Right there. You can really see how moist the cake is. Oh, yeah. I'm going to top that with <gasps> little warm pears. Yum. Put some of that juice on there. This looks amazing. The last little thing we're going to do is mix up a a little bit of honey and mascarpone to go on top of that. Oh, so instead of a whipped cream, do this instead? Oh, yeah. I With love mascarpone. Yeah, it's a great. Good stuff. A little honey. Sweeten it up just a tad. There's already brown sugar in there and that good stuff. Mm. I can see that just melting over the top. Oh, yeah. That's what it's going to do. Mm, 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 I'm see it turn into liquid right there. This is great. Some butter flatbread. You've got some really lucky residents here with this stuff, <laughs> I'm telling you. Nice and crunchy crust. Get you a plate. I'm really excited to try this ice cream. Okay, so flatbread, let's get some ice cream on top of that. Dying to try this. Yeah, why don't you take a Can bite? Can I get right in there? Go ahead. Yay! Oh, wow. Orange and ginger really popping that. Yeah. That's awesome. It livens it up a little mm. bit. I think it would go great with the, the plums and, oh, the, yeah. and the brown sugar. Get that right on there. Beautiful. Do you do a lot of homemade ice creams here? We do. We try to keep doing them seasonal mm -hmm. uh, once in a while. I mean, we're not having them every night, but um, put a little orange zest on this. Well. I would have it every night if you let me. <laughs> <laughs> it is These popular. We go through a lot of ice cream here. I bet. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen from Folkways at Gwynedd. We're back with more of The Chef's Kitchen from Folkways at Gwynedd. All right, these look great, but I could easily eat them both myself. And I know we're going to have some residents come to taste with us, so why don't you make two more plates? Uh, Is that okay? Good. No problem. Great. I'll move these out of the way. Plenty of products. And I know both of these are sort of fruit-based desserts. You do a lot of more decadent stuff with chocolate and caramel. We do. Um, you know, chocolate's everyone's favorite Absolutely. Here. Um, we probably, if we don't have a chocolate dessert on um, three or four times a week, I'll, I'll, they will not be happy. <laughs> it's everyone's I wouldn't. favorite. We started doing uh, this great thing upstairs is we started doing um, very small portions. These are a little larger than what we try to do right now. I give them the option to have a, a, a taste. I love that. You know, two, three bites of a dessert. Uh, you know, you look at a piece like this, and after you eat a, a meal, should we really be eating something this big? So two, three bites, we'd probably cut that wedge maybe in half, mm -hmm. and uh, that would be a more suitable portion. And then you can try them. a little bit of everything. That's Less right. waste that way a lot of times. That's right. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, those pears just look so good. course a little, little juice. Definitely get that butter up in there. Do you serve dessert all day long? We do. Uh, well lunch and lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. um, no we, breakfast for dessert? Uh, dessert for well, breakfast? We have we actually this station three days a week is a full-blown waffle and um, we waffle station Belgian and we have all different fruits nice. whatever's in season and different flavor butters and mm. and uh, cream cheeses and all sorts of fun stuff for them to be able to to top that off, and we need to hit yeah, that with a little more My favorite ice part, cream. the ice cream. Yeah. Oh, I love how the mascarpone just melts all down. The ice cream does the same thing. Oh, all the zest. I think we're great. ready to do some tasting. We've got rosemary and gill. Thanks for being with us. I hope you're excited to taste the food. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about why you guys love living here so much just about everything. Yeah? And we've checked out of quite a few places before really? we decided. Absolutely. And how about the food? Would you say that's one of your favorite parts? <laughs> that's why Katie Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes and how long have you guys been here? Almost two years. Almost two years? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you've had a good amount of time to really get to know the people here and the food very well. Yes. Just digging. Oh my heavens. 
Mm, go for it. All righty. I'll grab these. Mm. How is that? Very good. Like it? Very good. Let's see here. What do you think about that olive oil cake, Gil? Good. Very good. Mm. Delicious. Ooh, wow. I love that. Mm. That olive oil turned out great. Yeah. Really did. I have to try a little piece of that. Yeah, <laughs> please do. Yeah, you don't. I want to try some of this. Jolly, <laughs> mm. this is good. It is. Eat that just like a pizza. Mm hmm With the ice cream on top. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic, Chef. Thank you so oh, much for having us here. It. Well, thank you both so much for allowing us to be here with you at Folkways. We had a wonderful time cooking in the kitchen. Well, thank you very much thank for you. having us. We of had course. Time eating your good dessert. I know. Dessert. Time to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Folkways at Gwened, located on 110 beautiful acres, where walking or biking are the preferred modes of transportation and pursuing mental and physical fitness fill a portion of every day. Folkways at Gwened offers award-winning health care, financial stability, farm-to-table healthy cuisine, and a commitment to achieving a carbon-neutral footprint, all while honoring the Quaker values of respect for personal dignity and equality. Folkways at Gwened, your retirement, your way.